So, Bob, uh, four hours now. Cutting a little close, aren't we? You've installed one, two, three, four, five, six out of eight toilets. I suppose that's actually pretty good going. Uh, we have a desk. We don't have a chair. We have a filing cabinet. We can find out where the chair's meant to be. And we have no pipes. So, Bob, I'm, I'm fairly disappointed, actually. And I'm sure that everyone that needs to go into solitary is pretty peed as well. Which is... Nobody. None. And I've just noticed that the CEO's letter has once returned. Again. It's following me. Treat. We got... What is... Is everyone happy with tree? Have we just got like a shite ton of wood? Oh, and a look. Oh, we do. Look, we have lots of, lots of wood stacks and and license plates. But I just thought we need an export zone. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to sell any of this stuff. Ah, uh, ha. Huh. Export zone. This yeah. Ex. Where the heck can we put an export zone? Should we, should we like zone off a new section up here, maybe? Uh, that's that's where all of the goods come through. They can kind of come down here and out the door this way. Um, that would require having another load of of gates, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, maybe we could do it further down. I don't really want to expand this, but I suppose I could expand it. For now, I think what we'll do is uh, we'll go into rooms. That's objects. Rooms. Uh, thank you, Finger, for clicking the right one. And... Xbox, there it is. We'll chop off some of the garbage zone and we'll add an exports room. What's wrong with this? Nothing. Actually, we'll have even less garbage. We don't have that much garbage in the uh, prison, do we? Uh, no. Actually, I think we're a fairly tidy prison. The prison is, again, looking fairly clean. Winston, thank you. Um, and obviously all of the other janitors. Uh, George and Cassandra and Paul... Not Henry. <laughs> Got rid of Henry. But, yeah. Well, no more garbage. And no more green alien goop on the floor. So, Bob. Two hours remaining. You're gonna do it. <laughs> no. Oh, well, well. I'm gonna be optimistic. I think you'll pull it off. You'll get your workforce together. I don't know what you're doing, actually. I, I, ah, you're not running around to put this bit of pipe in like an idiot, are you? Because you could do that last. That's not actually essential or are you now just moving everything into exports because all of the prisoners are asleep which means it's shakedown time so everyone prepare for the prison to probably go into riot because it will let's just quickly have a look at the contraband uh, there are all our areas which have contraband in the last 24 hours we have found a drill a drill and a spoon only one spoon curious uh Prior to that, we had many spoons. Yeah, and screwdrivers as well, of which people have done some weird wiggly things. I have realised we do not have a lot of... Whoa, what is that? They got around with that thing, didn't they? Christ. Now, look at it. They've been everywhere with the bloody... We, a needle. We need some more metal detectors in the prison. And now we've got some more money, we can actually afford to do it. We're earning 2,700 a day. Oh, my God. How long is it? 48 hours until we get our big lump sum. Nice. Uh, all time. Haha, <laughs> Christmas tree lights. Do, 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 do. Oh, that wasn't working. There we go. Yeah. Flashy lights. Christmas. Uh, no, okay, I'll stop. And 12 o'clock, we're going to hit check down. Ding. I'm so used to the of, of money and stuff. It's creepy when you get to 12 and nothing happens. I feel left out. Okay. Seven out of 243 places. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Yep. Bob. Bob, you failed me, Bob. Failed. I shall have to fire you. No, everyone would be very upset if I fired Bob. Damn it, Bob. How many work... I've only got nine. I've got some money. Let's get some new workers. Why not? We we had a huge unfire... No, wait. Firing line. We fired a lot of people. I wish my brain could just get things in, like... Coherent sentences. Again, I know I say this all the time, but I suppose I've had a long day. Sitting in a laboratory for three hours, you know, it really takes it out of you. Right. One, two, three. There we go. That's a nice even number of 12. And uh, hopefully things will get tired. I realize there are a few tired people around. That might be why 
uh, people aren't actually doing things. We have got lots of stuff moving to exports, which is nice, though. A mobile phone. Why do you have a mobile phone, Mr. Mr. Tom Cates? Yes. No mobiles allowed. We should get, like, a mobile jamming system. Right. Let's let's really speed this on. Come on, Bob. I want to see this solitary finished. You going to do it for me? In my lifetime? Probably not. Uh, power stations are looking good. I'm just trying to find things to fill with now. Spoons. Bloody, bloody spoons. Metal detectors on the canteen. How is best to implement, implement a canteen metal detector system? If I'm right, deployment... Yeah, this area is, is off limits to prisoners. But they can still get round. So, I don't need metal detectors here. They come through this area. Um, that's a lot of metal detectors to put all the way around here. Unless I have one here, one here, and then just on the doors, maybe. But then if they go into the staff room and steal stuff from the staff room... Okay, we'll have them in the doorways here, and we'll also have to have a couple here. But we'll just add a few more, and hopefully we can clear up the prison just that little bit more. Ooh, exports, $1,440. Thank you. Where is it? I can't see the blooming metal detector. I genuinely can't. Where is it? Metal. 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 You can probably see it. I genuinely can't. It's, oh, we're done. I'll have a look and see what we found in a bit. This is really peeing me off. Where is it? I've got to stare at this thing. Excuse me a moment. Hit the microphone stand. There we go. Uh, this is everything. Where is the lemon metal detector? Right. St st <laughs> Why? I can't see it. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, thank God for that. Okay, right. We're going to put them here. Screw it. Yeah. Oh. What is this? Maybe I want it here now because it's going to have to go in a stupid place if it goes there. Isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Why can't I flip it around so it's the right way? Oh. Fine, we're just going to have to put them here. No, wait. Here. Got to be consistent. And one... Yeah, I've got nothing. Oh. Ah, screw it. I'm just going to put them in the doorway. There we go. I'm just going to have some weird place metal detectors. No time to fuff. Fuff around. And... One here. I think there's a locked door anyway. Not much chance of prisoner getting out of that. As long as all of the exits are covered, we're good. This is a lot of money to spend on metal detectors. Although, I think I just got... I did. I think I just got a lot of money. Yep. I've now got 62000 I like this new grant system. Hi, autosaving. You freaked me out there because I thought I crashed the game by hitting the reports button. Yeah, look at all these grants we've completed. Well, that's, that's cool. We've got a couple hidden ones as well. Uh, Short-term investment is still in progress. We've still got to wait 38 bloody hours for that. Right. That is a long time. Bob has still not finished this. Thank you, Bob. Never rely on anyone called Bob. Unless you know them to be a reliable person. Or they actually are in the real world. And then you can pretty much rely on people called Bob. Yeah. Anyway... Uh, moving on from that, I've completely forgotten what I was doing. I actually have. Metal detectors, that's what I was doing. But again, Bob's got to put those in, so the chance of that actually being done ever again is is just very minimal. Where are they? I am... They're just doing tree shite, aren't they? Just constantly moving tree stuff. And that's my one gardener who's... Who's moving the actual, putting the actual trees in, and then Bob and everyone is just moving all the stuff. Can I actually, can I put prisoners to work in the forestry zone? No, you can't. Well, it seems like the forestry zone might actually be a bad idea. We're making enough money it is, as it is, but it's just taking up my workers' time way too much. And Bob is just fed up of lugging massive logs everywhere when he could be happily installing pipes. You know, Bob, 
You know how much you want to install pipes. Just do it. Let's add another two workers. Come on. The workload can't be this massive. Somebody. Or am I going to have to go into time lapse? Hold on. What are you doing up there? Oh, come on. What? Surely it's quicker to go around this way. Actually, it's probably not. Wow. I feel bad for Bob. How are our metal detectors doing? They're all out of power. Why did the metal detectors get put in and nothing else? Oh, I just don't understand these people. Probably going to lose power as well. Just pointing that out. Right, there we go. They're connected. Uh, you do not know how I'm going to get power to you. We'll just have to kind of shimmy it along this way. They go in there. Is that all of them? Nope, there's one here. E and E. Okay, and that's connected to this power station, which is actually all right. We could stick an extra capacitor on it as well. I know all of this stuff. I'm just giving Bob more and more things to do. But, you know, I'm sure Jeff can help out as well. Okay, time for a time lapse. Right, after that incredibly long amount of time, Bob has finally finished the flipping solitary bit. Uh, I've also added a new guard with a lovely patrol route in this L shape. And I've actually made them solitary cells so we can now chuck all our filth into solitary when we have a riot. Of which we're hopefully not going to have, so building that was probably a waste of money and, uh, and time. But we probably will have a riot because my luck is pretty poor. So we have solitary just in case. I've also added um, Joe and Charles back into the prison because they decided they were going to leave. I don't know why. I think it was a, a mistake that Steve made with some documents or something and they ended up getting out on parole and it really, really wasn't meant to happen. Uh, and they definitely haven't been to the psychologist and gone through the reform program yet. So they're coming back. We also have a new addition, RJ McReady. I'll quickly read through his rap sheet now. Names in the game, r.j, and uh, I just want to point this out because it creeped me out earlier while I was in the names in the game list. If you press caps lock, it puts a 4 in, okay? Anyone can tell me why. Uh, I just had to press it again. I, I'd like to know. It's kind of strange. Anyway, rj mac, mac ready. Mac Reddy was a helicopter pilot based in Antarctica. He was found by rescue teams at a destroyed US outpost number 31, stating he had blown up the camp to stop a thing. All the other camp members had disappeared. It was expected to have been Camid Fever, but who really knows? 
indeed. And that is why you are coming to my prison to go into this lovely maximum security area uh, when it's built. And disclaimer, you probably won't be treated well. Sorry. You you kind of asked to put your name in the you know. Here now. Deal with it. If you have your name in the game already and want it in the prison, just please put it in the comments. This is where I'm going to wrap up this episode. We have $65,535. It's like some game show. And we get $3,561 per day. Hell yeah. We actually have uh, a... Oh my god, I've just realized how many prisoners we're going to get in 13 hours. Whew, that's over our limit, but uh, that'll be fun for next time. So, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please put them in the comments. I always like reading and commenting back to comments. Yeah, should have said replying. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, favourite, share, and all of that amazing stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye!